the bulk of the time I had perfectly good relations with the people who worked in the service of the house and worked for me. There were arguments from time to time about issues. And I remember on one occasion a very, very senior official who didn't like being contradicted erupting in anger and being rather rude and saying the meeting was over and he walked out. And subsequently, that individual said, Mr Speaker, okay. I was rude to you. Yes. I was very annoyed. I felt that you were unfair in the point you were making about the Directorate of Chamber and Committee Services, and I was discourteous to you, and I apologise. And I readily accepted his apology. And, you know, do I recall over the years sometimes saying sorry to somebody if I got the wrong end of the stick? I think I say in the book, but I'm mm. very happy to say that in relation to one of my private secretaries, I on one occasion got the wrong end of the stick about a sequence of events. And as soon as I realised that I got the wrong end of the stick, I said so. I said, forgive me, I got it wrong. You and do, I you do tell and that And she story. did, to be yes. fair, say, you know, that's fine, I accept your apology, Graciously. Speaker. So, you know, people do make mistakes, but was there a situation of regular blow-ups and you know, huge cultures of fear, I suppose, would be the phrase. Of fear. You reject categorically. Hang on, with, I, do, I do want to talk about other stuff. I was dealing with very senior people, yes, with whom I clashed, who weren't used to being very, very highly paid people who were used to having their say and having their way, and they didn't like being contradicted. The idea that they were bullied is nonsense, and I will just make this point, James, briefly. One of them left five and a half years ago. Yes. He had every opportunity, if he thought there was misconduct towards him or others, to say so then. And there was a respect policy, and he could have done so and didn't. He made a career choice to leave. And, I would add, as the person with an overall duty of care to the staff of the House, he not only had a right and an opportunity to remonstrate at the time or to cause others to do so to me on his behalf, he had a duty to raise those So why matters. now? So why now? And I understand the question. And the answer is very clear that the members of this little squad are trying to prevent me going to the House of Lords. They're trying to use a grievance procedure to achieve an unrelated objective. I think that that is wrong and disorderly, but in any case, although they're entitled to their views, they do suffer from the material disadvantage of being 100% wrong.